Hi everyone, welcome to the Clearview Accessories Assembly and Installation Rock Tamer Guide. Tools required are wrench and socket sizes. Also need a locking star pin wrench and a 5mm locking Allen key wrench. You will also need the following tools. A utility knife, a tape measure or yardstick, a straight edge, a hammer or a mallet. Now you will need to access all the materials within the box. Please note that there are some materials underneath the styrofoam, so it's important to lift the styrofoam up to access these materials. Now you will need to access your fixing kit and remove the parts from the bag. Now you will need to begin with the hub assembly. Locate the ball mount followed by the hub assembly and slide the ball mount through the hub assembly. Now that that is complete, you now need to hand tighten the ball mount clamp bolts. Ensure you begin this process by hand first followed by using a 13mm socket to tighten them evenly. Now you will need to tighten the jam nuts. This will help prevent the clamp bolts from loosening due to vibration. Now you will need to install your trim plates. Locate your two mud flaps and have the smooth side facing down with a slight overhang. Then you will need to locate your trim plates and install it from underneath. Ensure that you do not place the trim plate upside down. You can secure the trim plate with all the little screws followed by a spacer. You will also need to commence this step for all the eight holes. Now that you have completed this step for all eight holes, use the supplied locking star pin on the front side of the rock timer plate, followed by a 10mm socket on the rear nylock nut. Do not over tighten these as you will cause damage to the plates. Now that you have completed this step on the first mud flap, it's time to do the same on the second mud flap. Please note when you're taking this measurement that the vehicle should have full tongue weight. Now you will need to locate a measuring tape and measure from the ground up to the bottom of the hole in the hub arm. Write down this measurement and head back to your bench space to commence the next step. Please note that your mud flap should also hang 100mm off the ground when the tower wool is installed. Locate your two mud flaps and with a measuring tape, measure up the height of the previous measurement taken, then subtract 100mm. Now that you have subtracted 100mm, you will need to locate the nearest pre-moulded cut line. Line up your straight edge to this line and with a sharp utility knife, follow and cut the line. Now you will need to locate the provided hole punch, followed by a hammer or a mallet and punch out the five pre-molded holes. You can use a drill to drill through the flap once you have created the hole, but it's important not to take too much off. Once you have finished creating the holes in both flaps, you will need to locate the flap clamp. Now you will need to place the flap clamp over the top of the mud flap. The square side will need to face the front, which is the smooth side of the flap. Locate your clamp bolts and install each side followed by the middle holes. 
Then you will need to follow this step on the second flap. Apply the bolt bumpers over the bolts. Now we will need to install the support rods. With an Allen key, slightly loosen the arm clamp bolts and slide your support rod through. These are adjustable to the length you need to suit your vehicle. The holes on the support rod are made to suit different vehicles. The first being for small to mid-sized cars, the middle for full size and the furthest for larger vehicles. Ensure the length of the rods are the same, then re-tighten. Locate your two mud flaps and slide the flap clamp over the top of the support rod. Locate the flap retaining bolts and Secure with a 8mm socket. With a 8mm socket, tighten the flap clamp bolts. Do not over tighten. Now that your mud flap is in place, you will need to adjust the support rods. These should extend 2 inches past the outside of your tyre. Now you will need to install the end caps. You can do this with a rubber mallet. Here is what your rock tamers should look like. Now you will need to fit your mesh panel insert. You will need to remove the two flap clamp bolts, then replace them with the two included bolts with the thread facing away from the vehicle. Then lock the bolts into position. With the mesh panel insert, you will now need to mark the location of the two lower eyelets on the rubber flaps. Now drill the first out of four holes in the rubber flap, ensuring that they correspond with the markings made on the lower eyelets.
please see the overview for more information. Now you will need to cut your mesh for the toe ball. Thank you for watching and enjoy your rock tamers.